This is your Week in Rewind for January 4th through January 10th. Sunday the 4th brought sunshine in the morning, and the new snow that fell over the past 48 hours was still skiing great on the ridge. Monday the 5th, mostly cloudy skies greeted the morning and the winds were generally light to moderate with only the occasional gust topping 20 miles per hour. The new Slushman's train provided some great steep skiing from the ridge of the head wall into Monday's bowl. The long and scenic Pat's shoot shows off some of the exciting new anchors to play in this year at Bridger. Tuesday the 6th, 2 inches had fallen by 5 a.m. but the real storm arrived in force at 7 a.m. with 2 inches of snowfall per hour throughout the morning into the early afternoon. We ended up with 13 to 15 inches of fresh powder across the mountain and a great day of storm skiing and riding with each run's tracks filling in by the next lap. The intensity of the snow led to some closures of the ridge and high traverse which were ready for Wednesday. Wednesday the 7th another 2 inches fell overnight bringing the storm total to 17 inches. The high traverse and ridge opened and were quickly devoured by the powder-hungry skiers and riders who missed Tuesday's storm. Warmer temps in the low 30s created a creamy feel to the snow, and the winds remained light at 5 to 15 miles per hour under overcast skies. Thursday the 8th brought spring-like temperatures to Bridger Bowl with the day starting off at 42 degrees. With soft snow and low light, it looked like a perfect day to go visit Josh and Ben in the terrain park. After a quick steez check and stretch, they were ready to go. Friday the 9th, Bridger received 6 inches of snowfall overnight and 7 inches by noon. Heavy fog on the upper mountain made the visibility poor for the first few hours. The snow was creamy and made for some excellent cover over the hard layer that had developed over the past few days of warm weather. Saturday the 10th, the snow that fell the day before was still skiing well. With mild temps in the 20s and low winds, the conditions were great at Bridger. The snow began to fall around 2 and persisted throughout the end of the day. Bridger has received 142 inches of snowfall to date and has a 63 inch base making for some top notch skiing and riding. With snow currently pounding the mountain and more in the forecast, the place to be for any powder lover is Bridger Bowl in Bozeman, Montana.